Who started the Great Schism, the split between the present-day Orthodox and Roman Catholic churches? This seems like a question that can only be answered with years of research and poring over many books. Here, we endeavour upon a concise answer, one which is not shallow, but truly gets to the heart of the matter. How can we do this? First, we must understand what the church is. After all, the historical question of who started the schism is not merely pedantic, but it contains certain theological presuppositions relevant to the religious body it pertains to. Only after this question is answered can one determine what schism in the church is, and then how the great schism formed. The Church views itself according to the Constantinopolitan Creed as one, holy, catholic, and apostolic. Other early church communities, like St. Gregory the Great, sometimes call the body of Christ the Orthodox Church. He says, For, though the whole earth was filled with the observance of the true faith by the preaching and doctrine of the apostles, yet the Orthodox Church of Christ, having been founded by apostolic institution and most firmly established by the faithful fathers, is further built up through the teaching of divine discourses. To it did all the most blessed apostles endowed with an equal participation of dignity and authority convert hosts of peoples. The patristic consensus, something that pertains to the agreement of all the saints of the church, is that the church was begun by Jesus Christ with the ordination of the apostles to the title of bishop through Saint Peter. Though these apostles had equal dignity and authority, church tradition teaches that Peter literally ordained the other apostles to their bishoprics. To quote John of Thessalonica's apocryphal account of a conversation between Saint Peter and the other apostles, Peter picked up a palm branch and said to John, you are the virgin apostle. It is your duty to sing hymns before the beer, holding this. Then John said to him, You are our father and bishop. It is your duty to be before the beer until we bring it to the place of burial. In this way, every bishopric is patrine and ultimately sourced in Jesus Christ himself. <laughs> 